Let's go this way. Oh, he's so fast, man. Oh, God. <laughs> this is my favorite. Just don't go off the map. Oh, don't go out the roof. Okay. I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. Please don't go out the, the map. Let's go. Arc Survival Evolved TBF Gaming jumping back into our center eternal playthrough. This has been a fun playthrough so far. And if you guys don't know, we have a bunch of mods on here. It's like 25 or 26 mods. We're about to add Mr. Fisher's fog removal to get some of the fog out of here. Other than that, we're, we're good on the mod list. It is way bigger than what we usually use, but I'm really enjoying it. And we've got some cool mods in here that we need to start diving into just a little bit more. Of course, we've got Shiny Dinos, which is an amazing mod. This mod basically goes out, scans the map, and then makes shiny versions of dinos. So you might get some color changes, or for the different events, sometimes they have specialized dinos. You might get crystallized dinos or frozen dinos, and that's added onto whatever the dinos already are on the map. So whether it's modded, vanilla, whatever, there's shiny variants out there of those. Really, really cool. Combat Trainer, same thing. All the dinos out there get modded into powerful, elite, destroyer, different classes of dinos. But it also gives you a really cool ability to level up your dinos as you run around on them. So if we jump on our super amazing Spino here, you'll see in the left side it has a kill count. And there's kill count is 281 on this guy. Every 100 kills, and you can change this in the INI, &I, gives you a damage boost. And you can adjust that damage boost to be just 1%, 5%, 20%. I think default is either 10 or 20%, which when you're talking about thousands of damage is a lot of stuff. So if I use this on a vanilla server, I'm going to lower it as much as I possibly can. So that's the combat trainer. And of course, genomes. You guys know genomes. That's the one that adds all the crazy dust storms. Lots of cool stuff on our inventory. We've got this little Ava here that does all this stuff. Gives us some updates. Tells us what's crazy out there. And then also will help us out when it's time to build some of the stuff for genomes, which I'm going to try to do in either today or tomorrow's episode. But the big thing I want to do today is evolve that guy right there. And then, of course, last thing that's on the server is the alpha everything or everything alpha, however you say it, the code that was introduced into Eternal, which is an older mod. The alpha everything just basically goes around the map and turns random dinos into alpha variants. So if you were playing on a vanilla server, you'd have out there a Jerboa that would get turned into a alpha Jerboa. So that's basically how that works. Now, since Eternal is a little bit confusing, it's got alpha and prime. You're going to get some weird na name combinations. So like back here, our terror bird is a alpha terror bird. This guy right here is an alpha terror bird. So since he's already an alpha, and he's an alpha everything, he's going to be called a prime eternal alpha terror bird. A little confusing, but eternal alpha terror bird is his name. Prime is the modifier from the everything alpha mod. And then same with, I think same with this guy, the prime alpha. Same with, I think our turtle. Our turtle is a, this one right here is a alpha alpha elemental fire turtle so he just gets a alpha identifier because he's already a elemental fire turtle i hope that makes sense someone was asking an episode or two ago and i wanted to make sure i kind of explained all that stuff out a little bit and then if i get a prime dino so once we get out to where we're seeing like say we see a prime spino if a prime spino gets the everything alpha modifier it'll be a alpha prime so a little bit confusing but it's still basically the same thing just alpha is added on to the front or end of everything it's, it's not too big of a deal, but it's, it definitely takes a little bit to get used to. So in terms of stuff up here in the base, we're doing great. We've got our super amazing generator powering everything. We've got our feeder feeding everything. I've got some lights on the sides. I've got all the benches. We're going to get more into this one too, the HG Tech Bench. I'm excited for that one. We've got the Scratchy Claws mod, which I'm not going to set up a lot because I don't really need it with Eternal. But I do like having some of the automated stuff so I don't have to go do any gathering at all. But anyways, that's kind of the main stuff. Now we're also to the point where we can make tons of alpha meat. I don't know if I've made any yet. Let me just double check. We do. We got 23 alpha meat. Let's grab that. And then we can also probably make the prime meat already. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go. Let's go like this. We'll go meat. So to make the next one, I need five dino hearts, five dino DNA. And I think we have quite a bit of each one. Let's look. DNA 264, heart 155. So we're doing great on both those. And then what would we need to make the instate meat? Basically all that same stuff plus the alpha and the prime meat. I'm sorry, the Dino DNA, Dino Heart, Alpha Meat, Prime Meat, Mijo Berry, Raw Meat, Raw Prime. So it's a little expensive, but we could definitely get it done if we have 10 Alpha Meat and 10 Prime Meat. So I think we should do it. Can I make 10 of this? Because I, mainly I want to do it for this reason. I want to see if the Instatain Meat is a one craft thing. Is it a one for one? Or, I don't know, let's find that out. So we got that meat going. We're good to go there. We need to go out and look and see what we can get into today. We also need to get to where we can earn the scanner so we can find things a little bit easier here on the server. Find some of the dinos that we're wanting to go after. Let's go ahead and grab our crew. Now, we're also going to go ahead and start today's episode since I just did a whole bunch of talking. Let's do some evolving. Let's evolve 
our powerful eternal alpha spino he's powerful from the combat trainer and then he's alpha from eternal alpha from the eternal mod we're going to evolve him to the tlc variant we're also going to evolve our alpha pteranodon to either a poison or lightning and then of course we're going to take our super amazing bear bmbv or i'm sorry bbmb that's big bad mama bear and then we've got our carno that we haven't tried out yet we're going to try this guy boom get you what's up buddy and then we've got our terror bird that i'm going to take out just to run through the water for fun and i think that's it oh and then we got our knockout bear over here all right we got everybody that we need shinehorn you keep the base safe thank you so we tried the tlc potion on this guy and it didn't work i'm not really sure why so Shiva can evolve up to the TLC variant, but our Alpha Spino can, and it's going to be awesome because previously, this Alpha Spino, hold on, let's go out here. The previous version, the pre-TLC version, can't stand up. So if I do the right click, hold on, where are you at? There you go. So if I jump on this guy and I do the right click, there's no standing up. Like he doesn't stand up, he can't do the slap chop, so I can't slap people around. But since we have the TLC potion, we can go ahead and do that. And we had this a couple days ago. We got it from a drop. Oh, no, come on. No, make it in. So let's go grab this TLC thing if we can find it. I think it's going to be in the eternal box. Let's go upstairs. Oh, the fog and the rain. Why center map? Why? Let's go down here. Let's go check out the inventory. Oh, I thought I saw something blue. Got a little worried. So over here in the eternal drops. And we'll go TLC. Boom. We got that. And then I need some gems for the bird we're gonna go do a prime poison bird so let's go gem and i need blue gems we only need i think it's 55 got that boom so we can do a couple evolutions to get started today i'll probably wait until the rain is done now the nice thing with this too is this spino is going to keep his levels but we got to be very careful because he's at 132 right now for melee and at level 1367 there is a chance that he's going to reset levels basically if you, i think you guys all know this better than i do even they can only have 255 points in one stat as a base stat so his base melee if it goes over 255 he resets and he's not going to be powerful at all it'll be a huge cry moment because i leveled this guy up so much but right now we're already doing 55,000, and we haven't seen a alpha variant of this yet that'd be amazing Okay, we also probably need to start getting into the genome stuff. We can look into that real quick while we're waiting for the rain to go away. And then as soon as the rain goes away, we'll do the Evo. And that's just because I got to do screenshots. YouTube stuff. YouTube rules. All right, can we... Can I... Please? Come on. Are you having hunger issues? You not want to move, man. And then I want to get started on the base build out here. Because I do want some base place out here on this outside area. With some good turning, right? I know this is where you guys got mad at me when I couldn't turn. I promise it's because he, he won't stand up like he's supposed to. That's all. Oh, it looks like it's clearing up. Go away, Rain. If you yell at it, it goes away. All right, let's go back in here. Let's go ahead and check out the first part of the Genomes mod. So now the Genomes mod is really cool because you get this little tablet thing. And as you're running around, you'll randomly get these little tablets that tell you all about the mod. So it's basically its own in-game mod, these things here. It's data log one. Hopefully we have them all. One. One. One, 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 also one. Okay, we have lots of ones, and a one, and an 11, an 11, and a log number unable to be retrieved. That's really weird. What is that? Super weird. We'll check that out in a minute. But yeah, so each one, it you put them into your little tablet reader, and it'll read it for you. You can also, there's a button you can press to retrieve all of the ones that you've lost. It's Alt and L. So let's do this. So if I press Alt A, it's going to bring up our little Ava handheld stuff. And you can see all the messages over here. I've got her silenced right now because she tends to be just a little loud. So I'm going to put her back into the HUD text so we can get that close. So now she'll talk to us over there in the chat. And then we'll go do this thing right here. And we'll do Alt L. All right. So let's go like this. Alt L. And give it a second to download. Did it work? Hold on. Am I pressing the wrong key here? Alt L. Alt L. It is not working. I'm being lied to. Alt L. Right? Maybe it's the other alt. Oh. Oh, wait. That alt does like a look at you button? No way. This is entirely new information. I didn't know about this button. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, if I put this away, maybe. If we go Alt L. There. Nope, that's target. Oh, it's doing something with the spyglass. Put the spyglass away. How about now? There we go. Make sure the spyglass is not out. Press Alt L, and then it's going to do a data log recovery of any of the data logs that I've had. It'll pull them back up, which probably only the first one. Yeah, I guess that's it. So now we take this log, we put it on the computer, and then bam, we get our first information from the genomes mod. So data log 0001, data recovery in progress, personal log entry 1. Everything has changed, as strange as the place was, vines coming from the ground, crystals I've never seen before, minerals of entirely unknown compounds. The power emanating from these structures is beyond comprehension. So many possibilities. I've been experimenting, and within a few weeks, uh, with, with a few tweaks, Okay, a lot of tweaks and sleepless nights. I've managed to create a stable fuel cell generator from the basis of these new compounds. The possibilities are, well, endless. All right, so that, that's really cool. I, they've done a cool job of adding a bunch of story beats to this and kind of like how it progresses through it. So now we can make this fuel thing, right? So we go fuel. This is number one from that data log there. Zero one fuel cell generator. It's 200 corrupt crystal, 250 corrupt element, and 125. And I might have all that. I do craft it and that's just stuff we've been grabbing as we've gone along so we're a little ways into the season which is why we're able to get it this is eventually going to go on the other side over there but for right now let's put it right here boom and then i don't remember do you need power i don't think so so now this guy if i can look at it here this guy this amazing device will produce corrupt element fuel cells from corrupt tendrils just place them inside the inventory of your new structure and turn it on. I don't think I have the tendrils to where I can pull them, do I? Tendrils? I don't. I need to add this stuff to the pull list. My bad. All right. Also, since we did that, you can see that because we did that, we unlocked number two. I'll look at that in just a second. Let's go get some tendrils if we can. Should be in the genomes box. If not, we'll go out and get some. Genomes drops. Tendrils is this one here. I don't know if that's all we need. Oh, a little bit of lag. All right, let's get out. Then we go drop this in here. And like I said, if this will eventually go in its own room, we'll have... You need a lot of room because there's so many different pieces to this. So we put this in here. And we do process fuel cells. There you go. So now it's going to make the stuff. There you go. It's got a little bit of light up animation. This is starting to fill up. And then eventually, we're going to get little fuel cells out of this, which we need for the second piece. Let's go ahead and check out the second piece. 002, boom. Personal log two, the power of these cells opens so many doors after spending half my day breaking a piece of corrupted ore off of an impressively large mound of this stuff. Ouch, not only does my back hurt, my hands are throbbing. Focus, I have realized our current forges will have no chance at melting this new ore. Not many of the others are really impressed with me. They'll come around. Who cares if they don't? The new ore will be the future. I have repurposed, well, a lot of our resources to develop a new refinery. So now we've unlocked refinery. All right, so we can do refinery. You can type it in like that, or you can do 02 because that's the log number. And then for this one, we need corrupt crystal, corrupt element, corrupt ore, and that one. That one, we are missing a little bit of corrupt crystal, so we need to gather a little bit out there. And this should give us, there you go, it's making the fuel cells because we'll need that for future. All right, so that's the start of genomes. Finally getting into the first part of genomes, but now it's time to go do the best thing in Eternal, which is evolve a dino. What's cool is it's going to keep its levels. It's going to get some bonus levels. We just have to make sure that we don't lose the saddle. So we have to transfer the saddle pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get a screenshot of our buddy here. You're so hard to get a picture of. What's that over there? Robot Parasaur. All right. So a cool screenshot of our awesome Spino. And I'm, I'm starving. And then we're going to go like this. TLC. Is it consumed? No, it's X. X. Okay, I'm not even going to get the saddle because I want a picture of it. I'm sorry. There you go. So now the Alpha Spino has evolved into a TLC Spino. Now we're going to go see if his kills carry over for the other mod. That's the next question because I don't know if it does. We'll go make another Spino saddle. All right. Spino saddle times one. And then I kind of forgot that we were doing the meat stuff. I have really short memory. So can I make one of the instantane meat? We can. Also, don't make it up here. Make it on the Anki. We know this. I should have done that. My bad. Okay. Let's grab that. So I still have 13, 1, and then 1 of the instantane meat, which is kind of incredible. All right. So this guy also makes it. I kind of want to see if he makes more, but, like, can you make some? 
I would need five alpha meat, one, two, three, four, five, to make one stack of that. Okay, so that made five. Can I make one more? Well, let's make a stack of that, got it. Another stack. Now let's make one of those. There we go, we got 10. One more. There you go, 11 and 10. And then can we make one of the instantane meat? Let's see if it does one per craft in here. Oh, we're missing. I'm missing tons of medial berries, so we gotta go gather before we do that. Okay, that's fine. We restored our, our stores a little bit. All right, did I get that saddle? I did not. I'm trying to get too much done in one episode, my bad. Okay, focus, focus, let's go. So now, we're gonna go put the saddle on this guy. Let's see how he's doing now. Let's look at his stats. Let's see if we're upset or not. No, we're good to go. Let's check it out. His melee came out to a 196 melee. His health is at 200. Absolutely perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So he's still below that 255 threshold. Saddle time. Let's go ahead and check him out. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. This guy does not take the alpha spino saddle. He takes the vanilla spino saddle. You can also, if you want to, use the wyvern saddle. But it's not too big a deal. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, over here. Spino. Spino saddle vanilla type. Yeah, kind of a weird one that he goes back to the vanilla saddle, but not a big deal. Now, the most important thing, too, is that we can slap people now. So now we have this laptop. And we can also get the water buff that I don't think the pre-TLC guys get. Boom. All right. So now, are we still fast? Oh, yeah, we're still fast. How's the water? Water's doing good. What are you? Hold on. A pygmy. <gasps> I want it. It's a poison spino, but he's tiny. Oh, come back. Be my friend. Oh, an endom. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Can I knock him out? I don't know what we need to knock that guy out. Okay, hold on. We got to make a quick switch. We're going to test you out in a minute. Hold on. This is important business. It's a pygmy. I think that's part of the shiny dino mod. He's tiny and I want it. Okay, bear. Where's my where's my poison bear? Green machine. All right, make sure everybody's passive. Green machine, let's go. Also, the mod is active. You guys can see that people people are all, oh, running around with bunny ears on. There you go. Come here, buddy. Sorry, dude. It had to be done. Okay, this guy's got 3.4 million. I want it, I want it. A pygmy cheap elemental poison. So he's still a poison spino, but he's tidy and he's shiny. I want it, I want it. Okay, get back turned around. Can you come on out? You don't want to come over here? Come on, buddy. There you go, come on. Yeah, come have fun with us. Look, he's a tidy spino. This guy's going to be our friend. All right, one million... Get this guy knocked out. You want to come further up to the base so that way when you run, you don't run far away. Right. There we go. There you go. Now when he runs, he'll run into the rocks and stuff. This would be perfect. Look at him. He's got bunny ears on. I hope we'll be taming the bunny ears stay. Okay. I don't know that we'll... I'm not going to use really good meat on this guy because he's only elemental. He's not... He's just basically a poison elemental, which we already have. But he's so cool looking. I can't pass this up. Alright, wait for that to finish. Alright, a little bit more, and boom. Alright, a couple more bites, and this guy will be our friend. And I'll if I can, I'm just going to throw the prime meat on him, and that's it. No, don't you run. No, don't do it. This guy's so fast. There you go, stay right there. Let's trap him in. No, don't go. Don't you go. Okay, 3.1. 3.2. There you go. He's going out on that one. Go to sleep. Don't go far. Don't go far. Yes. All right. Cool. Now we have to go test this Indom. Where is the Indom? I don't know if we can knock out that Indom. Because we're only an Alpha and he probably needs way higher. All right. Did it do anything? <gasps> it did. I think it hit him. Baryonyx, stop it. Stop, Barry. Bad Barry. There we go. Reset him. Okay. 
Are you about to go out? Or are you not even close? You're not even close. It's definitely working. Oh, the berry's almost out, though. So you have three million. This would be a fun little dino. Get us a little elemental lightning indom. Yes, please. This one has a ice evolution using the elemental evo potion and cloak ability that works like the alpha, prime, and infernal versions. Nice. Let's get some of our levels done. Come on, green machine. Knock this guy out. This might be worth an instantane meat. I don't know. But don't go invisible on me. Okay, I'm just more worried when he starts running. Also, what is up there? Robot Rex, watch out. Okay, we're doing like half a million each time. That Rex up there is making me nervous. Please don't come down here. And then we still gotta go test out our Spino, man. Oh man, there's too much to do in one episode. There's just so many things that we wanna get done. But we got a little bit of genomes, a little bit of eternal, a little bit of everything. There you go, there's up over 2.6. About to hit three. Hit three, buddy. Alright, there you go. Go to sleep right there. Oh, no, one more. Okay, he's going to sleep underwater. That Baryonyx is making me nervous. Let's get him. You're not going to give us a hard time. That Rock Drake is also not good. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the Instantane Meat on this guy. There you go. Can I ride you without anything, or do I need a saddle? I need a saddle. All right, let's get that. I see Ava giving us a bunch of messages over there. All right, got him. Okay, let's go get some of the supplies. You're over there. Stay over there. Okay, that's how we get ore. That was more ore than I'll ever know what to do with. Okay, go like that. Can't even move. All right, let's go like this. Or, boom. All right, Barry, let's go back over here. All right, let's check on the Spino. Let's see if we can get a little bit of prime meat real quick. That's what we need to work on. What are you? Alpha Elemental Lightning Baryonyx, nice. So many cool dinos right around this area. We don't have to go far for any good tames. Oh, what is that? My favorite part about playing mods like this where you have all this crazy stuff. You spend half your day saying, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, what is that? <gasps> is it an actual? No, it's a vanilla raptor. That's for teasing me. I thought you were an eternal raptor. We haven't seen any raptors this season. Ooh, alpha poison trike. All right, we're skipping that. Let's get our spino. Let me get some. He's staying down, so he shouldn't go anywhere. We need... 156 prime meat. I mean, we could use some alpha meat, and we're at the point now where we can make it. Let's just, let's do alpha meat. Let's go. I hate using the good meats, but let's go like that. Give one back. All right, he should tame up really fast. We'll get him balled up. Let's put you away because you got the ore on you, and let's go find some genome crystal, and we will level up our spino just a little bit. All right, let's go like that. All right, that's looking good right there. Perfect. Okay, pick you up. And transfer, please. Just throw this in just random place here. Let's get a Indom saddle. Indom saddle. And the Indom saddle, he's not going to be crazy powerful. I think he's still basically an elemental dino. He just a little more powerful. And they're usually a lot of fun because they're pretty fast. I think it should still be pretty good. But we need to find some crystal from the genome mod. Quick. All right, are you good? Yeah, look at this. Look at this little tiny guy. Little pygmy dino. What's up, buddy? Pygmy cheap elemental poison spino. Such a long name. All right, now time to finally try out our buddy. Let's go, man. Let's go eat some things. Have I even eaten anything with you yet? How much damage do we do? Only 19,000, but we haven't put any levels in yet. He's got a lot. Get a little bit of leveling. I should have grabbed some XP potions. We can also stand up, and now we can chop. Yeah, and we can turn fast. Going kind of amazing. This is a strong alpha. This, is gonna, this, is got, this guy's got combat trainer and everything alpha modifier. That's awesome. 
We'll have to tame one of those one day. I don't think I've ever tamed a robot Parasaur. He can only be knocked out by prime elemental dinos. That's why, because by the time we get there, we don't really need him anymore. 300,000. Let's get our water buff going. There you go. Water buff, please. And no, the kill count did reset. Okay. That's what I was wondering, if the kill count would reset when we started the evolution. Boom. Nice. Parasaur gone. There's a alpha indom up there, but we're not going there yet. We're not going that way. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's go. That's what we have to avoid. Look at that dire wolf. All right, let's go this way. It's going to take a second. So we need to get this guy to a lot of kills to get him leveled up. We'll try the Indom in a second, too. I just had to get away from that Giga. Yeah, slap. Slap him around. Oh, did I get him? I already got him. Okay. All right. Is the Giga gone? I don't know. We're flying. Just trying to watch for that guy. Yeah, so now that he's a TLC version, this guy is so fast. All right. Please don't break that. Let's grab it. I think we used the pick. That gave me 153. Is that enough? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully that's as much as we needed. All right, let's go this way. Oh, he's so fast, man. Oh, God. <laughs> this is my favorite. Just don't go off the map. Oh, don't go out the roof. Okay. I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. Please don't go out the, the map. I think we're going to hit the world barrier. Just, just don't delete my character. I don't care. If we die, that's fine, but don't delete my character. No, we might land in water. We're okay. Look how far we just flew. Oh, yep, there's the barrier. Okay, cool. It's just I've gone outside the map before. There you go. This guy could be lots of fun. Also, is our does our oxygen go down while we're on him? It does not. He has an oxygen stat, and it is going down. Interesting. There you go. We could cruise down here and eat some things. we got to be a little careful. I don't know what's down here. <laughs> We're just going down to the bottom of the ocean where we can't see anything. Here we go. This is where I was coming to the beach area. Perfect, perfect. Let's make our way this way. Eat a bunch of these little guys. Give us lots of quick kills. Here we go. Demorphodons, please. I do want to hit this. Hold on. Let's go like that. There you go. That gave me tendrils and dust. Cool. Couple of elite guys. Uh, is that a regular snake or a big green? No, a regular snake. There we go. Free kills. You just have to find, like, where these little overspawns are. Okay, I don't know what just made that horrible noise. I feel really bad. Are we at 93? Nothing crazy spawn in. There we go, 100. So now we should take a nice little jump. Between 40 and 50,000. Nice. All right, let's do it. Oh, what is that? Hold on. Is that the Dreadmorph? Nope. Whoa, what are you doing, man? Can I give you a beef potion? There you go. Once he gets hungry, he'll just sit there and poop forever. 55 is pretty good, man. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go find a spot. We'll switch to the Indom, and then we'll keep running around. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that? A giant leech. Nope. All right, looking for safety. Not going to find it out here. All right, let's go like that. I kind of want to hit those to see what that is. Oh, that's Glacier, I think. All right, what all, what all you have on you? Tons of stuff? Yes. Okay, you got too much, so I'm just going to send you back. Let's go. I haven't even named my teleporter yet. Make sure you're not on follow. Now, Indom. No, this guy here? No, that's the green machine. Hold on. The Indom. 
saddle. There we go. Alright, we definitely need a screenshot of this cool little guy. The little blue indom. Can I get rid of that Ava stuff? There you go. Alright, I need a better screenshot than that. As soon as that stuff goes away, I'll take one more screenshot, and then we'll run around with this guy. I don't know if he's going to be very powerful, but he does have the electric attack. He does a, he'll does he do a little bit of corporate. He is not fast, but the camera is really far back. I think you need a bred up version of these in order to make them fast enough. Oh, yeah, 4,000 is not going to get it done. I think they used to be more powerful. Not feeling very powerful. He does that really good electric attack. And he does pretty decent torpor. Creep through and eat everybody in sight. Oh, that's an alpha and a prime. Watch out. What level is that alpha? I 20. We can tame that. Alright, hit him with the electric attack and run away. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna kamikaze off the edge. There you go. Yeet yourself to safety, buddy. Come on. Yeet to safety. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the water, and then we'll teleport home. So this guy's not going to be much damage-wise. We'll go ahead and shelve him. He'll just be a cool collection. Dino, the little alpha. Not even an alpha. A elemental indom. Definitely not bad. Like I said, he's just not much damage-wise. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay away from the jellyfish. That is a peep jellyfish? I want it. Focus. Oh, here's all the dinos. Wow, how many... We killed a lot. Oh, look at all the fish. Oh, here's where our overspawns are. We can get to like 100 kills like nothing. Hold on, let's switch back to the Spino. I should have put a tracker on my Spino. Dang it. Hold on, go back down. Okay, don't eat the fish. Don't eat the fish. Just get down here to safety. We should have a, a beam attack on this guy, too. I don't remember. All right. Awesome teleporter. Put that away. No, oh, I missed. Okay, try it again. We're holding still now. One more again. That wyvern wants us. All right. We'll switch real quick back to the Spino, because if we run through there with the Spino, we could get 100 kills within just like a minute or two, probably. Let's go ahead and park you. Right. In fact, we can just go like this, go like that, and I'm going to transfer your stuff to this guy. And then we're going to teleport back with you, and I'm going to turn the spyglass on just for a minute. And I think I've told you guys a million times, I, I shut the spyglass off because I don't like that outline, but it definitely helps in situations like this. We can Alt-S it. We can hit Outline. And then, boom, you can see the ridiculous amounts of fish. And now we just swim around chomping. And get free kills like it's nothing. Like, I can't even keep up with it. Look at this. Imagine if we had something that did an AoE attack. We'd be doing insane stuff. Don't even know what that was. Can't even see half the stuff we're going so fast. We're almost too fast to even get the kills. But let's get ourselves quickly to 200 kills. Let's do it. I'm not going to eat the... I'm going to try to avoid eating these guys. No, well, maybe not. I lied. We're going to eat them. Just afraid of what spawns in after them. Elemental poison shark. Alright, finish this guy off. Alright, let's go this way. All these, look at look how many fish there are. Two so. That is insane. 184, just like that. And we're doing... How much damage are we doing to these poor little fish? 50-something thousand. Here we go. What, 200 kills. Come on. Get the kill. Yeah, there you go. Ranked up. Now we're doing over 60,000. So this might be one of the culprits of the overspawns. This is insane. I think pretty much anywhere there's big waterways, I guess. Not bad, man. 67,000. All right. I'm going to head back to base. The video's going to be a little bit long because we got a lot done today. This is one of our most... Like, progress-filled days in a long time. I would gladly take all that. Very, very nice. Yeah, man, I think I can get to 300 kills, like, quickly. This is kind of the way to spam kills. This is great. 
If we had, like I said, if we had something that did more of a spam attack, like a, or a, a AOE attack. But anyways, hey, let me end the episode. I, I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I do appreciate it. Huge shout out to the patrons for making these servers possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. I'll see you in the next one. I, I really do appreciate it. Made it the individual, you're the MVP. We're going to hit 300 kills, like, right after this video. So I'll show you in the next video how much progress we make. I'm going to do this for a little while. I'm definitely okay with just doing some just chomping over and over forever until we get all of the fish. I'm going to clear this whole thing out. See you guys in the next video. Later. And just like that, a few seconds later, 300 kills. We are now up to elite. And we're doing 78,000 damage. Absolutely awesome.